Hello, how's everyone doing? Hope you're safe, hope the people you love are safe, and I hope that lockdown bell ends aren't ruining your life. But what is it that's pissing everyone off? Well, let's start with the good news. We had some good news this week. Boris Johnson returned on Easter weekend. That is not a coincidence. I'm back from the brink. I have risen again. Uh, it was only Easter banter. Up with the lads, hanging out, went for a bit of banter at death store, returned back. A bit of banter with the old Covids, came back. Lads weekend, all good. I have returned. To quite literally have a resurrection. From the old resurrection. By resurrection, I mean little Boris is back in action as well. Woof! Let's save the country. Banter. Is it safe to say that now it's starting to feel normal. It's a depressing thing to admit, but I've sort of got used to just staying in and doing bugger all. I've forgotten what it's like to take to Imodium and then stand on stage and try and make Gary, Dave and Kev laugh while someone throws a bottle of piss at me at the Leeds Festival. I miss those days, but there's quite a lot of people, I'm seeing it every day, people putting it online, people saying it on TV, it just doesn't seem real. It's like it's not really happening. It's like being in a film. Is it? Is it really? How shit would this film be? Seriously. This is one part Liam Neeson would turn the fuck down very quickly. In my latest movie, in one of the greatest crises I have ever faced, I will stay in my front room. I will stay in my bedroom. I will knock one out into a rugby sock in the lounge. I will play Ludo with my grandchild in the front room. I will read a bit, I will eat, and I will wank again. Lockdown, not coming to any cinema at all, because if you go to a cinema, you'll get a touch of the COVIDs and then cough blood on your nan. Can't believe it, believe it, you bellin. I can't believe this is happening. What have you done, taken mushrooms? Up until now, I've been playing the game. Let's not criticize the government who are doing the best they bloody can like the rest of us. But it's time to take the gloves off. And by taking the gloves off, I mean that literally, because we're talking about PPE. Can I just make a pledge for all the nurses, doctors, medical staff, auxiliary or otherwise who are watching this and nodding when I say, can we fucking sort the personal protective equipment, the PPE situation out? You cannot send our frontline soldiers of this war, our medical people, into battle naked. They need gloves, masks, goggles, and gowns. They're fucking superheroes. Stick the capes on their back and send them into battle. Yes, you've got to understand, it's quite challenging to get all the stuff to the hospital in a lorry. Is it? Fucking sort it. If this was Australia and we suddenly had a forest fire, I can't imagine the Aussie Prime Minister saying, well, you know, we do need the fires put out. and We don't have enough hoses or protective jackets. So we're going to send our firemen in naked and covered in butter. That seems to be the best way to fight a forest fire. Come on, lads. Flap the flame out with your bollock wind. Take that, you pesky fucking forest fire. Take my bollock flap wind. No, of course we wouldn't. So don't send our nurses and doctors in naked. Don't send our nurses and doctors in under-equipped. I don't want to see some virologist consultant going, do you know what? I've done this job for 20 years and today I'm going to vary it up a bit and I'm going to treat my patients as a butler in the buff. So I will have a gown at the front, but my ass will be hanging out at the back and I thought I could deliver some volivants as I breathe in pure fucking Covid juice. A bit of Covid juice for banter. Covid shots, anyone? This is a Covid and Sambuca shot. Light it, down it. Hooray! Oh look, here comes an anaesthetist with her tit flopped out. I'm flopping my boob out for Covids. We don't even wear bras anymore. We're just fully naked. Fuck it. Germ fest. Pretty Patel made her first appearance this week. I don't think she'll be making another one, do you? Things are bad enough without those serial killer eyes staring out the television. We are really sorry if anyone you love or know has been hurt or that their organs may have been damaged. Organs. Organ meat is quite delicious when poached. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you, pretty. Thank you. Poach the organs. Poach the organs of the poor. Poach the organs of the poor. Sell them to an army. Sell organ meats to an army. I'm sorry about that. Pretty seems to have had a bit of a fever. Chris. That's me clapping. That's me clapping for the NHS. I hope you will on Thursday. I hope you will. 
the louder you clap, make sure that you deserve to clap though. Because there's no point in being one of the clappers who then goes and creates some more work for the poor freaking nurses and doctors. I don't want to see Gary, Terry, Leanne and Danny all on their doorsteps going, hooray! Hooray for our healthcare workers! Woo! Right, I'm off to mum's for a barbecue. It can't hurt you if it's family, can it? The virus can't get you if it's family. It can't cross from an auntie into a cousin. It's not a pervert virus. And then the next week at hospital, I'm sorry, I think I've got the COVID. <coughs> Clap for the NHS, who now need to fix me and my bell end fucking brain. Hooray! Seriously, I hope you're all enjoying your lockdown. Make the best of it. Get fit. Get healthy. Improve your mind. They're all good things. But don't use social media as a sneaky way to make lazier people like me feel like shit. It's good enough for you to do your own thing and take care of yourself. Go to respected healthcare professionals, respected fitness professionals, chuck out a Joe Wicks. Today, I'm gonna do a workout by burning a thousand calories, just pronouncing words in my own accent. Ready? Banter. 500 calories gone now, just from saying the A on banter. Go to Joe Wicks, go to online portals, get a personal trainer via Skype, do that. But don't emotionally blackmail lazy fuckers like me. Do you know what we want to do? We want to wake up in the morning, our third day without having had a shower, drink a coffee, eat some toast, and be watching Goodfellas by 11 a.m. before our first masturbation session after lunch. And I do include the girls in that. You better believe that. Flicking my bean, flicking my bean. Flicking my bean like a banjo player from the deep south. Ding, 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 ding. Flicking my bean like a banjo player from the deep south. Ding, 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 ding. The same goes for those of you who are learning a language. I'm like most of you. For about five days, I started to learn French, yeah? I did about two verbs, then I lost interest, got bored shitless, and didn't finish it. This is normal behaviour. Don't beat yourself up. Don't let people make you feel bad. I know there's not much to do except scroll these freaking poison box phones we're addicted to. But believe me, people are lying. They're not learning German. They're not studying physics. They're not taking up flower arranging and collecting wildflowers from their garden and arranging them in vases. None of that's happening. They're just sobbing indoors, face tuning their pictures, arguing with their partners like the rest of us. You're, you're wrong there, Russell. This week I learned Italian and then next week I'm doing medieval history. I'm actually starting an OU degree because you don't have to leave the house. Really? I put an egg in a microwave in its shell and turned it on just to fucking see what would happen. Then I fell asleep crying at 3 p.m. That's what I did. You Italian learning, evening course, doing your sit-ups, post a picture of an avocado, yoga doing, bell end. I'm meat free, I'm carb free and happy. I'm carb free and happy. Are you happy now? Are you happy now, elbow drop? Happy now, now, now. I hope I've given something informative to you here, but notice, apart from talking about Boris getting better, no news, not really. I mean, I've moaned a bit about PPE and I've praised Boris for coming back like the Messiah. Oh, back again. Absolute legend. Did a Lazarus and not just with the body. I've mentioned him, but I'm not giving the news headlines. I wish I could say the same for every other amateur news reader who lives on WhatsApp and on social media. As soon as a headline's published, oh my God, Boris has gone into hospital. Has he? I couldn't have found that out for myself. Thank you so much, Poirot, for solving the mystery about where the Prime Minister had gone. Thank goodness you were there with your news reading skills, Fiona fucking Bruce. Is that who you think you are? A news reader, Lauren from Chingford. And finally, it says here today that COVID infections are down by 1,000. I've been Lauren from Chesant and I've been on your Facebook posting breaking news with yellow writing for the hundredth time today. Good evening. Oh no, someone's thrown a cricket ball in my face. <laughs> Remember, I'm only joking. I'm literally just trying to make you feel better by asking around. I probably do most of the things I slate. I never mean any offence. I'm just here to be an arse and jest. I've got no other skills. And I know I'm very lucky. I've got a garden. I've got a pug called Colin. I've got a wonderful family. Uh, 
and I know other people are finding it difficult, but if we just try and be a little bit respectful, no one wants to hear your dirty wine grind party if you're in your garden. Just try for a second to imagine someone not being you, turn your music down and stop being a car. Ah, again, not swearing. I've turned over a new leaf. That's not me anymore. Unt. Ladies and gentlemen, stay safe. If you're locked down as a couple, try to keep your sex lives alive. Change each other's hair. If you just create, fold a girl's hair to create a fake bob, you can do it from behind and pretend. Who are you? Oh, stranger with a bob haircut. This is so wrong. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Gentlemen, get a bit of talc, grey your hair up. And the wife will be like, oh, you dirty old bastard. Oh, who are you, you dirty old fuck? Just a few tips. See, I'm a sex therapist as well. Right, now I'm gonna exit upwards. <laughs> Doesn't work, does it? How, how the fuck would that work? Down it is. See you later. Mr. Grimsdale?